Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Holotide, and this video is probably going to make a lot of people upset, and that's okay because I don't really care. I'm just like so sick and tired of seeing these tier lists on, you know, Halo content creators, Halo games. I feel like it's super disingenuous a lot of the time because I think people are just doing it for engagement, like they put things, um in places that they might not necessarily belong just because they want engagement. That being said, of course you can have opinions. People are gonna like certain games more than the others. Some people are gonna love Halo 2 and dislike Halo 5, and some people are gonna love Halo 5 and dislike Halo 3. Some people might like campaigns in, you know, the old Bungie games more than the 343 ones, and some people might think Halo 4 is the best story campaign um, of all time. And all those things are fine, it's just, I just don't think you have to put this as a, a dog poop game and stuff like that. Remember, we can't cuss on YouTube. Because, and this is my opinion, and that's why we're making this video, and that's why I'm uploading it to my channel, is that I don't hate any of the Halo games, honestly. You know, I've been playing Halo since CE. I'm a, a Halo boomer, if you will. I've played every single one. I like some games more than others, obviously, but I've never played a Halo game, either multiplayer or even campaign, where I was just like, man, this is dog dude. Actually, I won't lie, Halo 5's campaign took me four years to beat because I was pretty uninterested in it. But like, I did enjoy the, the multiplayer and stuff of Halo 5, like Warzone and stuff. I think there were a lot of good things done and people will be like, well, that's not a Halo game. Or they'll have the caveat that, you know, if Halo 5 had a different name and wasn't made, you know, to be a Halo game, it would have been super successful and stuff. And that's just like such a weird thought process to me because it was made by the Halo developer. It has Halo in the title. Other games have spun off from the core gameplay philosophy. I think that literally every Halo game is different as it goes on. Like, CE was massively different than Halo 2 which is massively different than Halo 3, which is massively different than Reach, and Halo 4, and 5, and Infinite. But anyways, I think the thing that's lost on people is respect. There's, like, no accountability, there's no consequences for, like, online... I, I don't know, like... Everybody's so into hot takes, and engagement, and rage bait, and, you know, impression farming. And everybody knows that, you know, negativity gets more clicks, and I just can't imagine, especially like the Halo TV show, I see an account that just makes hundreds of tweets about the Halo TV show, and I'm just like, why watch it? You know, like, why not just, I, I feel like you don't, like, do you even like Halo? I, I don't know, it's just like a weird... Like, it's one thing to be, like, nitpicky and stuff like that, but to make your whole personality based around, like, bashing something instead of just, like, not watching it or tweeting one time that it's not for you. I, I feel like they got a taste of engagement and impressions and, like, they've never had attention like that before. They probably got new followers and stuff, and they just want to keep doing it. They want to keep hitting that high. And that's something that social media has really... I feel like ruined with people is like, if you're not doing numbers, you're not doing anything. The thing with the Halo community is that it spans so many games over so many years, decades, has so many fans of different games that, man, it, it is impossible, I feel like, to make any Halo game for just like everybody at this point. And I know people will point to like the Hell Divers 2 thing where it's like a game for everyone is a game for no one. I get that. But like I said, with the addition to MCC and like having it on PC and stuff and being able to play all the Halo games at one time, like just like the amount of change up that you can get while playing that, like going from Reach to Halo 4 to 3 to 2 and stuff, like I feel like that is such a great addition to the Halo ecosystem because while I don't want to play Halo 4 all the time, I'll definitely play a game, like, out of every 10 games that I play on there. You know, like, BTB and Halo 4, I actually adored BTB and Halo 4. Here's my hot take for uh, all you old heads out there. I don't like Halo 2's multiplayer that much. I said it. I also don't think the campaign is 
as amazing as everybody thinks or says it is now and i feel like you know like even back in the day people lambasted halo 2's campaign because it's like oh i have to play as the arbiter for half of the game i want to be master chief and stuff but like now that has aged a lot better and i do agree that playing as the arbiter and the covenant side of things was a really good inclusion but i don't know it's just not like for me, it does not beat Reach, or even ODST. Like, people love the button combos and the skill ceiling and stuff, and I'm just kind of like, okay, cool. But yeah, I'm sure that will get me absolutely destroyed on here, and that's okay. Really, the crux of this video is that I just wish people were a little bit more respectful. At the end of the day, most of these games are art. You have tons of developers, artists, people working on these games. And I feel like a lot of time, the disappointment and stuff should really be focused on like leadership or maybe Microsoft and it is what it is. But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of ranty, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber and I will catch you around the ring.